Paul Binks here. Wave used to be able to lock all costs of all cards to four. It was a really, really great tool in a lot of decks to play Wave out on turn five to make your opponent only play one card and then play a high value card after you've already gained some tempo to win out the game. Now, since Wave is completely changed from where she was, there's never really been a card that does this except for our one and only Lord and Savior, Sandman who can now be played just like Wave gets played on turn five. So even if you're not doing a ramp deck and pushing into things, uh, if you can get early tempo, play Sandman on turn five, and then follow it up with either a leader or a doom, you're gonna be in a really, really good position to lock your opponent out of the game. Uh, there, there's some other versions of this that are much more in kind of like the silky smooth way with things like Silk and a lot more kind of a focus on things like Elsa, uh, different things like that. We kind of have like a, a hybrid type version where we have really good tempo cards and things like Miss Marvel, uh, Gladiator. Uh, we're trying to uh, get our Angela really strong. We can play Angela down and then use like Nightcrawler, Jeff, Spider-Man to buff up that lane while pushing power to other lanes so that when we slam that Sandman down on turn five, uh, we're able to get a pretty solid win there on turn six. Uh, there was a couple changes I made to the deck. The big one was adding in Scarlet Witch. Um, I, you know, you, you've seen me talk about this in other videos. I think that a lot of people are relying on magic right now. So having just a card that can turn off a, a, a limbo location or just kind of like change a location that you don't really want to deal with can be really, really strong. Uh, I think that having like a Legion or a Scarlet Witch in your decks is, is really, really smart right now. Uh, and then we also have Nebula, just a, a great tempo card in here as well. Uh, and then just choose Leader or Doom, just depending on what you expect your opponent to be able to play. Uh, another great thing with Sandman is sometimes we play Sandman and then we follow up with like a, a Gladiator Jeff or a Shang-Chi Jeff or a Miss Marvel and Jeff. Uh, to be able to to really manipulate things and, and get this off. Uh, overall, really solid deck. The stats were a little bit off. I don't think I was playing super great, but uh, I think a version of this deck could be really, really great in the meta, and I hope you enjoy these highlights. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure you hit the like button. Check down below. Make sure you subscribe. Catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. Let's get our Angela pumping. Thank you. Do rules all. That's very nice of them. Super kind of our opponent to do that for us. You always wondered that I was one of the few other same managers. You've not been watching my content, brother. Been a same manager for a very long time. Oh, Chad, I got this. That's exciting. I wonder if I just Sandman now because it's the best card available. I think I just do. Like, my other play is just to Medusa Middle, and I don't really like that. We want to move Leader in case they play their card right. Or we want to move Jeff just in case they play their card right. you got for me a loki okay honestly not too shabby uh and i think we do have this marvel active right um two one six four five one six two obviously we can move nightcrawler no we can't move nightcrawler actually uh if they can find a way to beat this good on them i i suppose <laughs> Okay. 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 Okay, and that's how you get casserole. The Miss Marvel Dream. Yeah, it's. Uh, I wasn't really setting up for that to happen, but I'm, I'm happy that it, that it worked out the way it did. What a, what a good start to the deck. Look at that. Almost everything's better than Jeff in our deck. It's a little tunnel, Jeff. Kind of better. Snowguard? No, Snowguard's telegraphed. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Snowguard's too telegraphed, IMO. 
That ear surely wouldn't fail me again. Okay, that's... Okay. I didn't know how that worked, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I didn't know... It, I didn't know what was gonna happen there. This is kind of cheeky. I can miss Marvel and then like like witch Sean because this is gonna happen at the end of the game, so I can change the quantum tunnel first. Why not just put Reality Stone on the deck? I wish I could. Man. It's a good card. It's very strong. This could be a plus twelve swing. Still not, this still doesn't beat us. Hmm, actually. If this is a Nihilus, then that turns off my Miss Marvel, so it's much better to do this. Hmm. Furthermore, if their play is Sentry, we might just be cooked. So we might just want as much power left to beat their Sentry. One, four, three, we get to like 19 power. Yeah, I think we have to beat their sentry. Oh, let's go. Doom is better, is it? Or are you wrong? Or are you incredibly wrong? You're crazy? This is a great line, chat. This is a really good line. Unless you're saying I'm crazy good, which I agree with you. Just munch on some vibranium, not really care. Next two turns, just play whatever we draw. Then set up for like Sandman into like Jeff Marvel. Be pretty good. It's so weird that the left Mysterio can get left. I guess it makes sense, like from a coding perspective. But, but it's always pissed me off a little. Snap. Okay, moving the Mysterio is quite nice. Any alternatives for Gladiator? Yeah, you can try Zemo. See, I've been considering Zemo, but it has a little tension with Leader. So I decided not to. We just let this Nebula die. You could just let it die. <laughs> Sandman would like Jeff Vibranium left. Oh, I can't do that, right? Because you can't play Jeff first, and if you play Jeff first, then you can't play something second. You can't play something left first. What a conundrum. Maybe we'll lock them out of left. Okay, I think we'll probably lock them out of left here. They gain plus two left, but we're gonna get more than plus two left. Come on. I don't think they can get plus eight. Yeah, it's not plus eight, it's only plus five. Pump up 
the vault. Get out of here, gladiator. Aha, your hood will not die, you piece. Now you're stuck with your stupid, smelly hood. How does that make you feel? I think it's just glad metal. Giant, huh? Uh, luckily, we can take Pryo. It depends if we want it or not. I'm gonna play a five here, it kind of sucks. There's some kind of super Shuri deck, like Taskmaster mid, big card right is really scary. Maybe you can misdirect with the Jeff. Do I want priority next turn? Not really, right? Let's misdirect with the Jeff. We still win by like one point. <laughs> Successful misdirection. Can't take Pryo, I could have moved Nightcrawler right. Successful misdirection. Uh, did it have any effect on it? I don't know. I'd like to think it did though. I have no idea what deck I was, so. It'd be a little bit hard. I probably would have snapped. Um, I probably would have snapped in that position, though. Punch! Oh, sand. Oh, sand sucks, man. Uh, this is really not good. This is probably fine. Doom rules all. They do have a big red hulk though. Lest we not forget chat. They do have a big red hulk. There was a... Uh... Uh, <laughs> that, that you didn't like our vibranium duel where we just kept getting vibranium. I thought it was fun, sticky eye. This is this is where you have to look at like this Doc Ock, um, because a lot of people complain about this deck, right? A lot of people complain about this mill Doc Ock type deck, but I I really don't because I don't think the deck's that good. <laughs> I think it it does this a lot. <laughs> I think that this happens like a lot uh, when you play this deck. Come on, dude. Fig figure it out, Frags. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just leave, man. What are you, what are you cooking up? That's gonna beat this. <laughs> Storm costs one more and gives us one less power. Both of both of those are pretty bad. Medusa, yeah, Medusa would be the cut if we were gonna do that. 
Dude, there's a new, I think it's a season pass card next year or next month where um, it's a 3-5 that moves and can change the location. That would be really good for this deck. Look for you. Like decks like this, I feel like we could crush if we just um, had access to more time. Yeah, not trying to be great for C5. The snow guard is because it's Loki. It's a hybrid deck. Probably worse than either Loki or Phoenix Force, but very, very fun. Right, we know they're going to play Sarah. So we should just soul crush them with Sandman, right? How do you use Restream? I, I don't have time to do IT for you, brother. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Uh, lots of resources online to figure that out. You got there. It's not a Sarah. What is going on? I'm so I'm so good. Why are they playing so fast? What is happening, dude? What? What was I just playing against? That person's a maniac. <laughs> it's not a. There's no bots in Infinite. It just they were playing so fast. I just I kept playing my turns faster and faster to see if I could beat him, man. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. People say second dinner is bad. So true. All right, we got the tech. We have the tech for this chat. We have to play it left for Miss Marvel reasons. Friendly neighborhood Don't land middle and be less than this, son of a bitch. It's rough. We're gonna dock Ock. Ok. 
Is it Craven gonna this deck? Nope. You can certainly try it if you'd like. Typical gamer has been really good. Victory. I'll just I'll just give you a retort to something that you say, and you just say, "Well, game best at it, so it's right." <laughs> it's not. You can't do. It's not fair. You don't just get to have that get out of jail free card. <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> All right, if we top deck Sandman, we snap as hard as we possibly can. It sounds like a good argument to you, so true. No, I think it's a literal bug that the game countered a destroy trigger because um, Gladiator is more than Hulkbuster. There, because there's no other way to explain it. There was literally seven cards got destroyed that game, and they got a free death. There's, there's, there was no other extraneous factors that can explain it. Top deck Sandman, please. Sometimes you just have to ask nicely. Sometimes in this world chat, you just have to ask nicely. Nola's 25. I mean, yeah, I wasn't going to count all the cards that died for Noel. All that mattered to me was the triggers. You can usually pretty, like, sometimes you can find, like, I, I mean, all the time I'll mess up and, like, especially when, like, Time Stone used to be the way it was. I'd be like, how the hell did they do that? Or when you play Wave and your opponent <laughs> takes advantage of it and you forget that they're allowed to do that. I mean, also, we should have just realized that they could just, uh... uh they could have just smashed our head in with, with death and null anyway, right? Yeah, the old time stone shit used to be bad, and then the, the wave one was so funny. I was just like, Chad, how'd they do that? It's like, you play, you literally played wave last turn. Like, how am I supposed to remember what I played last turn? What the hell is this, man? It's bull crap. Well, we can get to 11. I think we still make this play. It ties right. Oh, it wins right. The fact that this wins right is is cracked. The fact that this wins right is insanely good. If this only tied right, we'd have to really think about it. But the fact that it wins right, it's so hard to say no to. Like, what would this lose to? We go minus two, so we go to 12, and we're gaining seven. That's how much Elsa does, right? So we're going plus five, we go to 19. They have to move Jeff to beat us, right? They'd have to have... Wait, right, even Red Skull doesn't do it. It just always wins. Sandman. Coming in clutch as always. Is there some weird rogue lines that could beat us? Like rogue can cook us. I'm trying to figure out how they would cook us with rogue. 
Doom rules all. Oh man, that my Jeff. That man, my Jeff makes it a lot scarier. I tell you what, man. You're welcome for your demon. This is another Dang Galactus deck chat. Oh, dang dirty Galactus chat. Shang-Chi to play around Sentry left. Our biggest threat is Sentry. Leader doesn't beat Sentry, unfortunately. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. on the Psychops play with the headphones. I did, it was weird. I don't know why I did that. Pigs. 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 I hope you like the vibe. Pigs. Pigs. Like and subscribe. Pigs. Pigs. I hope you like the vibe. Pigs. Pigs. Like and subscribe. 